Uh, I'm Chris Cabe. I'm the singer and uh, guitarist for the, the Danger Kid. I write the lyrics and the majority of the music. The Danger Kids uh, was a project that myself and Darren, our drummer, started um, a couple years ago. And it's just a rock band. Um, we were playing in a group together called Bottle Ship, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a, some slower rock music, but we wanted to kind of do some bluesier rock. And kind of just started as a duo, and we pulled Dan in and kind of formed this fun little trio. Me personally, I listen to a lot of different kind of music. I like old old school music, whether it's like the Mamas and the Papas, the Beatles, the uh, Rolling Stones, um, blues. I like just anything, pop music, uh, different stuff like that. And I think the one thing that's always been a constant in my life has been just real loud, real distorted, real fun, just rock and roll songs. And I think that's probably the one genre that continues to evolve and it reverts back and it continues to evolve even from there. Um, I think the Danger Kids' biggest influence, uh, for me as a writer, I, I write a majority of the music and lyrics for the Danger Kids, but I think as a whole, I'd have to say it's any, anywhere between um, the Black Keys, um, just good rock bands like Nirvana, the Jimi Hendrix Experience, um, some dabbling in Kings of Leon area with, with some heavier, heavier kind of folky rock, you know, um, some of that Tennessee blues. Um, Jack White for sure, I think we have some of that more dirtier rock that, that shows through. But And that was actually a lot of stuff that we talked about as a band when we first started, like what we wanted to pull influences from and, and proceed from there and kind of establish what our sound was. I think when it comes to stage performance, it's always been the who for me, just throwing my body around, waking up the next morning sore and happy. and just excited that I got to do something fun. Um, I would say thus far the overall message would be it, it's your life and you have a responsibility to live it and to live it well. Not to just dwindle in mediocrity, not to just be uh, pacifistic, it's, it's to actually like engage in your life. I, I think too often we, we don't engage enough we become victims of our own circumstances, of slaves to our TVs and Netflix and YouTube and all of these things are great and to a point I think that we indulge ourselves in some over-the-top entertainment that I think leads to our own demise and forgetfulness. But I think that's my ultimate. My ultimate goal is to just help people realize that you can live a very fun life, a very energetic life without without compromising who you are, you can be both of those things. Uh, right now our goal is um, recording more of our music. We're in the studio right now um, working on a few songs that we want to get done and, and, and put out so we can kind of create a stronger fan base and, and allow people to take us home with them, really. I want to be able to just be in someone's pocket and, and uh, when they need us we're there instead of M making it out to the next show, which is great too, but I really like the fact that I'd love to be in, in someone's pocket. I really like the, the scene in, in the Provo Forum area. I think it's really fun. Um, it, there are a lot of good musicians, a lot of good bands, a lot of great bands that have come out of Provo uh, in the surrounding area, but I think that as a rock group and kind of as heavy as we are, and just kind of like that, like you said, in that in your face kind of mentality, I think what's enjoyable about it is that there are a few bands like us, so I feel at this point we're kind of like a special commodity. I think the experience, you're going to see a fun show, you're going to th see three guys who really just love what they're doing. I think that it's energetic, it's upbeat, it's a lot of audience involvement as well. Right? It's not just, hey, please listen to our songs, please take this message home. I mean, at the same time, I do want it to be fun. I do want people to, to like what they hear, like what they see, and I think we do a good job of, of just giving it our all 100%, no matter what, no matter how tired or how exhausted or, or what the case is. I, I always know we, as a group, give 100%. I think a lot of my music is influenced by 
my relationship with my God. Um, you, if you listen to my music and if you take it at just face value, sometimes I think people can think that uh, it's a, a, some sort of mockery or uh, blasphemous or something like that. Um, in, in reality, I believe it's exactly the opposite. I believe a lot of the times when I am talking in my song, singing in my songs about uh, a deity figure or relationship with a deity, it is really me talking to that person, to that, that personage of deity. Um, I, I feel like my biggest strength in my life has been my faith and my, my religion, and although a very controversial thing that, that is in our world today, is that if a person lacks hope, if a person lacks vision, if a person lacks faith, there is nothing left to look forward to. There's nothing left to, to hold on to. That things can be better, that things will be better, that things can move forward because of my involvement. And that's why my comments about the engagement in a person's life, right? That you need to engage in your life. I mean, if it's, if it's Buddha, if it's Allah, if it's God, if it's Jesus, no matter who it is, ha have something, right? Whether it's a person, whether it's a, if it's the sun, it's, if it's the moon, if it's the stars, whatever that thing is that you hold on to that propels you to be a better person, that really is what you should be searching for.